Today I'm going to show you how to change a bar and chain on a chainsaw. Hello, I'm Griff Reeves, welcome to Winning Griff Aid. Here we talk everything beekeeping, farming, countryside living, now we do reviews as well. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you the simple way of changing either a chain by itself or a bar and chain combo. The process is exactly the same, and it's the same for pretty much every chainsaw on the market. This is a Hyundai chainsaw, but you change this bar and chain pretty much exactly like you would with a still or Husqvarna. Sometimes there's little differences, but there's not that many. One of the key differences that you may find on your saw is, on this saw, the tightening screw on that, uh, to you screw that to tighten the chain. Sometimes on some models of chainsaws, that screw is actually in there. But apart from that, the process is going to be exactly the same. So don't worry if you haven't got a Hyundai, this video is still relevant for you. So let's pretend this is not a brand new saw and this chain is totally worn. So the first thing we need to do, we need to take this bar and chain off. But before we take it off, very important, this chain brake needs to be off. So push that forward, that chain can't move, now it's locked. We don't want to take this side plate off with the chain brake on. Push that back, slacken it off, and then the chain can move. Now it's safe to take this side plate off. So the first thing we do, we've got two nuts on the side there. We're going to slacken these off. Now that is slack. I'm going to take the screwdriver on the chainsaw spanner and then I'm going to slacken the chain off by turning that counterclockwise. Now that's taking the pressure off there. We're going to take the two nuts completely off. And we're going to remove the side plate as so. Now what we've got here now is our bar and chain. This is actually the bit that turns the chain, so we want to take this completely off. So all you do, we push the bar back as far as it'll go. It's already there, so we push it back. Come to the top of the bar, we take the chain off there. Take the bar out. And then the chain hooks off the back and our chain is off. Now, that's the bar and chain off. Now, now is the time that we're gonna change, uh, whether, whether we're changing the bar or the, the bar and chain. Process is exactly the same. So if you're changing the chain only, you will have a brand new chain. Open this up and it will sometimes be completely tangled up like that. Now, you just got to work your way around the chain, slacken or detangle it up. Sometimes you'd feel this just takes ages. There we go. That is now untangled. Comes in a pack like that. Now, if you're buying a brand new bar, the bar will pretty much just come in a, in a cardboard sleeve, but it'll look just like that. So we'll pretend that this is the old stuff, we've just taken that on, and now this magically is the new bar and chain we're going to put on. So the first thing you do, get your bar. Put that back in that place. And just to note, you don't need to change your bar very often. If you're uh, using a chainsaw for farm spec or DIY spec, your, ch your bar is going to last you for years and years and years. Professional foresters using the chainsaws every day, they're gonna go through it a lot, lot quicker. But everybody else, your bar is gonna, gonna see many, many, many chains before that bar needs changing. So the chain can only go on one way, and that's the way. So there's two bits to a chain. 
We've got the cutting blade there, and we've got this bit at the front. This bit at the front needs to face the top of the saw. So let's look at the chain. And on the underneath, we've got this bit that sits actually inside the chain, and this stops the chain from coming off. Now this hooks round the sprocket, I think it's called, at the bottom here. That's, that bit spins the chain. So we want to make sure we catch that properly. Hook that round the back there and then work away from the top of the bar back. So we're hooking that on, making sure that sits in nice. Not quite on there. There we go, we're on perfect. Now push the chain right down the bar from the top down. Get it all in there. Because this is going to make things a lot, lot easier if the chain is already following the bar pretty much perfectly. That's that. Get your side plate. Now your tensioning bar is actually there. We're going to tighten that up there. So that bar there needs to line up with a hole there, the bottom hole on your bar. So as we put this on, that bar needs to line up in this hole. Lined up perfectly. Now put the nuts back on. Now don't do this super tight at the minute. Just gonna get it on. Take the pressure off the top of the bar. Just get it on, just pretty much hand tight. <clears throat> now once that's on hand tight, we're gonna turn the screw here, which is gonna tighten the chain. Now what this screw is doing, that bar I just showed you, is moving, as I'm turning this, that bar is moving up, pushing the bar up, and that's tightening the chain for us. Now we don't wanna over tighten the chain, or we don't want to have it too slack. Now if the chain is too tight, that's going to wear your bar out really quick and put excess strain on your chainsaw. And if your chain is slack, then that's more likely for your chain that's going to come off and that's going to be very, very dangerous. So we're just looking for pinch tight, pull that chain back. Make sure you can't pull the chain out of its place. It just needs to come up a little bit and that's the kind of tightness we're looking for. So just that type of tightness where you can lift a tiny bit, because as I go back now and tighten these two nuts down tight, that's gonna tighten the bar up, uh, tighten the, the, the chain up that extra bit again. Now don't overdo this, you don't wanna damage anything. Just tight like that is good enough. We don't wanna do it clean off. And that's it. That's spot on. Flicks back in there. That's turning. And I can hear that turning on the back there. So I know this is sitting perfectly. If you can't turn this chain, then it's not sitting properly on the chain. So I need to take this off. Make sure it's sitting perfectly there. Because you don't want that chain to fly around really easy. And that's it. That's how you change either just a chain or a bar and chain combination on your chainsaw. Like I mentioned at the start of this video, this is a Hyundai chainsaw, but the process is pretty much exactly the same for any type of chainsaw on the market. Now, now that you've got a brand new chain on your chainsaw, this is going to slacken really, really quick. So probably after 15, 20 minutes of use, this chain is going to be slack because you're stretching the chain because it's new. Now you don't need to take all this apart to tighten the chain when it's on the chainsaw. That's all you do. Slacken these two nuts off. Then turn the tightness screw a little bit until you feel the tightness just right. And then screw these nuts back on. Make sure you slacken them off before you try and tighten the bar because you can't tighten this up 
unless these nuts are slacked off. Uh, the, the tensioning bar on the screw would just be fighting against serious pressure and you'd probably end up breaking it. So make sure you slacken them off. And that's it, that's how you do it. Well, hopefully you found this video insightful and you're now confident uh, in, enough to change your own chain or chain and bar on your own chainsaw. Well, that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And don't forget, if you like this video and you want to watch more of the same kind of content, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I try my best to upload new videos every week. Thanks for watching.